Hey love, so I'm here guys doing a reading for cancer. This is going to be for cancer all house placements. If the messages here resonate, loves, and of course as always, I want you to take them. All right, newbies, cross watchers, you are welcome. If you uh, enjoy this reading, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, my loves. Let's get into the reading for cancer. Messages for cancers. Messages for my cancers. Let's see. The hanged man. Hmm. Okay. And the Knight of Pentacles. Let me tell you something. If you have been experiencing prophetic dreams lately here, Cancer, or if you've been getting downloads about certain things coming to pass, uh, you may actually be right about those things, especially things that have to do with transformation. Um, some of you dreams that have to do with um you know endings okay um yeah the moon yeah these are like prophetic dreams taking place here for somebody somebody's having prophetic dreams um some of you have been having um some of you have actually been experiencing like Armageddon style dreams. And I just really feel like that's just leaning towards the change of, of the world. Yeah. If you've been confused about your dreams, if you can be confused about why you've been having certain feelings or maybe this is just your intuition, gut, your gut feeling. A lot of you experiencing gut feelings here. Um... You will see those things come to pass if you do not trust your intuition at this time, if you do not trust your discernment at this time, if you have not been trusting your, the prophetic dreams you've been having or the messages and downloads you've been getting for your angel guys and spirit guys, you will start to trust and believe in those things. You will. Okay. Queen of Swords is at the bottom of the deck to the high priestess in the sun. Look at that to the hermit. Like... Trust me, you're going to start trusting yourself. You're going to start recognizing that you're more right than you are wrong, Cancer. All right? Tell me more about that hangman for Cancer. The Four of Swords. Okay. All right. So, you know what? This is, this, is, this is good because this is giving me a sense of the Queen of Wands, the Magician, and the King of Swords. Somebody asked you one day why you didn't believe in your own magic. Why don't you believe in your own magic? Truth of the matter is you had no answer. Although you had the, you you saw that you were right over and over and over again. But for whatever reason, you had no answer. I think we're coming into a point in time, Cancer, where you're starting to trust and believe in what it is that you're able to do, your abilities, especially when it comes to prophecies. Um, You've had a lot of money making ideas you had a lot of times where if you had listened to your intuition baby you'd have been like in a different a different space and time right now all right and because you are going to start trusting your own premonitions your own prophecies because you're starting to trust your own power literally you're going to see things start to manifest at a rapid speed for you or that your or your manifestations or your powers or something is hitting like crazy. The five of wands. Have you been the six of cups? Some of you may need to think back because I think that you have more than enough examples of times that you were right or your intuition was on point in order to trust in yourself. You're coming to a time and period where it's obviously this is coming up because whether or not you recognize it. Your, your belief in yourself and the things that you manifest in, your discernment, your intuition is going to 
get you out of a lot of difficult situations and pull you out of a lot of dark times, all right? Especially when it comes to your thought processes, all right? You're going to stop missing opportunities. A lot of you need to use your intuition heavily in, in the coming months when it comes to love. Relationship in love, okay? Tell me more about the Knight of Pentacles. We have the hair fence. The world. And the Ace of Wands. You have to trust and believe that the blessing is coming. Regardless of, of, of what you... If you feel in your discernment and your intuition and, or in your heart of hearts that something's going to go well, I don't give a fuck who spoke against it. It's going to happen. Don't let anyone else put any more of their negative fucking views of life on you. That's how they view life. You're about to learn. That just because we're connected or interconnected in whatever kind of way that we're connected does not mean that I have to adapt or adopt your views on life, love, family, relationship, money, whatever it is. Just because you think you broke, bitch, don't mean I think I'm broke. Just because you think that you, you ain't going to be successful in something don't mean I think that I'm not going to be successful. And bitch, I'm not about to let you sit there and convince me as to why the fuck I'm not going to be successful in something. Just because you're afraid to take that leap. That's literally how you're going to have to start viewing life. And you will. Because like I said, you have too many examples of when you were right more often than not. Way too many examples of when you were right. Eight of Cups. Mm, mm, mm. I feel like a lot of you, to a source, look at this. A lot of you, it, those of you who are in the space and time of feeling as if you didn't know how something was going to work out. For those of you who didn't believe in your abilities, um, you weren't sure how something was going to go. You're not doing that anymore. You're not doing that anymore. Like you're no longer worrying about these things. That's all you, you don't even you when you come up with an idea, cancer, you're going to start to recognize. And I feel, I feel like it's from now as we go into like, the you know, into the new year, you're going to start to recognize that you trust yourself more than you trust anybody. If you were the tail, you will become the head. Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, you can rest assured in the things that you feel like you know. All right. What's the hangman in the, in the four of swords? The page of wands. Yeah. Justice. More often than not, Cancer, you have the right idea about things. All right. You have the right idea about things. More often than not. What's generosity? The eight of pentacles. Um, a lot of you have ideas or you have just this gut instinct on how to balance out certain things in your life but you haven't done it yet or you haven't taken that leap of faith yet in that area because you weren't sure if if it would work out the way you thought it would you're going to soon learn and it's through exploration of all the things you were right about before that your confidence in yourself grows and you re-explore those things and you take those leaps of faith because you know that they'll work, work out. I really, really do like that energy for y'all. 
I feel like a lot of you are coming into relationship with someone who's just as balanced as you are, all right? That is, I feel like you're both coming in offering ideas. You're both coming in. You're working together on one idea. I wouldn't be surprised if the Ace of Pentacles came out for you and when it comes to conjunction with this person. Look at this, the Four of Wands. So, yeah, this relationship that I'm speaking on is definitely such, all right? And the Ten of fucking Pentacles, that's the stability, baby. And the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Come on now, Cancer. Come on now. Come on now. Learn to trust in yourself. Learn to trust in your abilities and powers to manifest things that are good for you. Because it's through that that we see this connection come in for y'all. That you two work and expand and grow together. And you are creating generational wealth. Generational wealth. All right. And this, once again, your last reading, I said you're giving me very heavy Virgo energy. Virgo energy is coming in again here. Okay. There's stability. There's generational wealth. There's happiness here. Um, yes. Happiness here. The King of Cups came out with the Eight of Wands to the lovers. I was going to tell you that I believe that there was marriage coming in. Um. Oh, for those of you who are married, be prepared for and, and maybe separated or, or something like that. When this does come about, be prepared for those uh people to those. It'll be some gossiping, some talking going on in the background. But fuck them folks. All right. Right. A lot of you. It's just saying get spiritually prepared, get spiritually in alignment and spiritually in tune because whatever's coming in for you is so good. Got the page of swords here. We got gossip surrounding this situation here. So I do want to look at what this gossip is. It's coming in about this very plentiful situation. I want to look at this situation for you with the plentiful part of this situation. What is it that's so gossip worthy? All right. <laughs> and then we'll close out the reading. All right, Cancer. Because whatever this is, they're looking at this relationship. So this is the, this is the way you grow or build wealth or the stability that you created, your ability to create, manifest, bring forth. All right. Somebody is, is, is like talking about this here. OK, this could also be somebody who's just saying, I knew you could do it. I always knew that cancer could do it. I knew cancer would do it one day. But we're going to see here. What is this uh, page of swords for cancer in this situation? What is Page of Swords for Cancer in this situation here? Let's see, Cancers. The Seven of Swords. Oh, is this hate speech? Because I'm not going to lie. It's giving a little bit of hate speech here. 13, 13 on the clock when I looked over. The Five of Wands. Well, I mean, if you ain't got no haters, is you really doing anything? Is you really making anything shake and move? This is definitely the haters. The haters. The people that it didn't work out with. The people that you've released with that burdens in reverse to the Queen of Cups. All right? They're conversing about what's going on or who you man, who you changed into. All right? Where you gone, okay? And, and, and this is hating, period. Period. I feel like you are comfortable. You're comfortable. Your life is comfortable. It's carefree. And so therefore, like you have people that are hating on this situation. They're hating on what it is that you've grown or what it is that you're doing. Tell me more about the page of swords and the seven of swords to the five of wands. The six of swords. Don't get the fuck over it because they have no choice. And a lot of them are just going to be simply upset because they got left behind in the grand scheme of things like they were supposed to be. All right. Tell me more. And as you start to invest in yourself, these people get left behind more and more and more. Nine of cups to the nine of swords. See, I feel like anything that's not pertaining to you, your happiness, your stability, your your circle, your, your small space, whatever. If, if it doesn't directly affect you, Cancer, you're pulling away your worry or concern. You don't even want to discuss it. You don't want to talk about it. It's not up for discussion, all right? Um, 
Tell me more about this nine of cups. Three of wands. Like, yes, I feel like this is what this is what you're doing. The high priestess. Because see, you come out of space, you no longer worry about shit. This is no longer worrying, okay? The strength card. You're trusting in the divine and that all, all will be provided regardless, right? So it's 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 this change. People are watching and they're like, yo, do you see cancer? Tell me more about the page of swords. The king of swords, I'm telling you. Injustice. King of Pentacles. Somebody's talking about you and someone coming together. The Fool and the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody's got, somebody's like, yo. Whatever it is that you're getting, don't get mad at folks when they start saying cancer. Like, oh, well, you know, God look after babies and fools or some full bullshit like this. Like, somebody is talking shit about what you've gotten and how you've gotten it. And almost like it's the luck of the draw, or you just you got you just got really, really good luck. Okay. Um, they, they don't, it's almost like they're gonna speak against the fact that you're just this powerful of a manifester, or you're just smart that smart enough, okay? Or you you just listen to your intuition closely, like they or you're just tapped in. Someone isn't going to give you that credit. They're going to just chop it up to luck. Chop it up to happenstance. Fuck them folks. The proof is in a pudding and they refuse to see that's fine. They couldn't see it because they could never fathom it in their mind because they could never ever have it. Okay? But the folks who are on your level, the folks who do, who do, you know, vibrate on that level with you, they're going to totally get it. You're going to get congratulations from places that you usually wouldn't even expect them to come from. Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck here. Five of Swords and Temperance. Be prepared for the people who loved you to, to the once loved you to now hate on you. All right. You know why they hate? Because they can't fucking participate, Cancer. They're not on your level. The Seven of Wands, what did I say? They have been uninvited. Their name is now off the list. They can't come to the cookout. Fuck them. All right. That's just what it is. Ten of Swords. They're taking it very hard. Two of Swords, Two of Wands, the Ten of Cups. They don't know how to take you being happy and rejoicing and enjoying your life. Some of them have gotten so used to you running in the circle of feeling down and out about things that now that you're up and it's stuck, they don't know what the fuck to do. They just don't know what to do. But that's okay. Tell me more about strength in the hair. Okay? The emperor and the fucking magician, baby, you have manifested a winner. And they're hating. <laughs> you have learned the power of prayer and manifestation. The power of faith. Without works is dead. You're just going along. You're appreciative of God's promise, of the divine's promise to you. You are keeping the faith in the fact that that, that is coming forth. You, you know that if you ask, you shall receive. You have asked and now you are walking lightheartedly as you wait to receive. That's how you're getting this. The tower, it's a breakthrough. <laughs> the hermit and the king of cups the three of pentacles to the five of pentacles and somebody feels like you left them out of the formula folks feel left out they feel left behind and they were supposed to be they played a minor role not a major one all right what did i say they're chopping up your wins your celebrations and your wins that says celebration at the bottom they're chopping these up to you simply just being lucky right cancer just threw some shit out there and it's stuck that ain't what happened, boo. Because what was promised to me, I was going to get regardless. Right? <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Tell me more about... Yes. Tell me more about the magician and the emperor. The king of wands. And the six of wands. Some of you being very much so recognized by people in positions of power. This is new. This is new. 
They're wanting to, they're wanting to, par to partner up with you. People in positions of power, it will require you to leave behind what you once knew. You have to change. You have to change your mind. Like, yo, this is so, this is so good, Cancer. Like, you have to change your mind because you're powering. Like, these people are in positions of power. You're leaving behind this group that talk and gossiping and run back and say this and say that. Always in the middle of a bunch of drama and conflict. You're no, you're no longer a part of that. That part of your life is dead. You've graduated. Uh, seven of Pentacles. You, you know what? You're, you're realizing that the things that you want for your life has changed. And it's, look at this, the star and the devil and the knight of Pentacles. Look at this. Some of you thought that you could manifest these things without the help of God's source, the divine. All right. You thought that you, that you could manifest these things without him and you couldn't, you can't. All right. It's hand in hand because where did the gift come from? The gift comes from above, right? The Queen of Wands, you're just learning how to work with your spiritual gifts and powers and you're meeting like-minded people and you are, you know, accepting the fact that you have clear vision. You've always had clear vision. It was the people who are around you that was motherfucking confused, Cancer. Okay? You have the clarity, but you allowed others to make you think otherwise. They convinced you of otherwise. That's the hold up. That's the setback. But you're stepping into... A greatness. Greatness. Oh my gosh. Mm, mm, mm. And it's people that are going from the past who may have supported you at one point when you needed needed it. And I feel like you gave them support as well, Cancer. And it's like they're they're they can't go. They're not going. Eight of Cups just fell out. It literally just slid out, y'all. Departure. Well, loves, I mean, this is a very clear message. This is where I'm going to leave this off at. If the messages here did resonate with you, I want you to give it a thumbs up. Like, share, and subscribe, boo -boos. And until next time, Cancers, happy birthday and bye-bye.